Uh, hi, uh, this is Dr. Ahmed. Uh, today we're going to talk about the brachial plexus. So I'm going to explain first what is a plexus. So uh, we do already know that we have a spinal cord and from the spinal cord arises 31 spinal nerves. Now these spinal nerves in some areas around the spinal cord they uh, form networks of nerves. Now these net networks of nerves have some nerves coming in, nerves going out, some branching coming off these plexuses. So uh, these network of uh, networks of nerves that uh, are located uh, um, around the spinal cord in some specific areas are called the plexuses. So one of the areas that uh, the spinal cord, uh, I'm sorry, the spinal nerves form a network of nerves is the uh, uh, brachial area or let's say the spinal nerves from uh, C5 to uh, T1 uh, these spinal nerves that are, arise from the areas from C5 to T1 uh, these uh, uh, spinal nerves will form a network and this network is called the brachial plexus so to make things easier this brachial plexus is composed of parts now the first part of the brachial plexus are called the roots of the brachial plexus now the roots of the brachial plexus, I think about it this way, the roots of the brachial plexus equal the spinal nerves that participate in forming the brachial plexus. So we have already said that the spinal nerves that participate in forming the brachial plexus are uh, spinal nerves from C5 to T1. So the roots of the brachial plexus, which is the very first part of the brachial plexus, are the uh, um, spinal nerves from C5 to T1. Now, these roots will combine or merge or they will continue going forward to form the next part of the brachial plexus which are called the trunks. Now we do have three trunks in the brachial plexus. These trunks are the superior trunk, media, middle trunk, I'm sorry, and an inferior trunk. Now the, uh, these trunks are named based on their location so you can uh, recognize that the superior trunk is found superiorly in the brachial plexus the middle trunk is found in the middle area of the brachial plexus and the inferior trunk is found in the inferior part of the brachial plexus. Now, the first two roots, which are C5 and C6, they will combine to form the superior trunk. Now, C7 root will continue going forward without combining with anything and form the middle trunk. And finally, C8 and T1 will combine together to form the inferior trunk. Now, each one of these trunks will give two branches. Each of these branches are called a division. So the superior trunk will give an anterior branch or anterior division and a posterior one. The middle trunk will give an anterior division and a posterior division. And the inferior trunk will give a posterior division and an anterior division. So each of the uh, trunks will give two uh, uh, branches or let's say divisions. One is called an anterior division and the other is called a posterior division. Now, these divisions, which are the third part of the brachial plexus, they will combine, merge, or continue forward to form the next part of the brachial plexus, which are the cords. So, let's discuss the cords. We have three cords in the brachial plexus. They are called the lateral cord, posterior cord, and a medial cord. Now, notice that the names of these cords are different from the names of the trunks. We have already said that the trunks are named based on their uh, location in the brachial plexus, superior, middle, and inferior. On the other hand, cords are called, or uh, uh, their names are based on their relation to the axillary artery. For example, the posterior cord is located posterior to the axillary artery, the lateral cord is uh, located lateral to the axillary artery, and the medial cord is located medial to the axillary artery. So, uh, uh, with this information, the names of these cords makes more sense. Now, the lateral cord is formed by the anterior divisions of the superior and the middle trunks. So, you, we see the anterior division and of the middle trunk and the anterior division of the superior trunk coming together to form the lateral cord. The medial cord is formed by the anterior division of the inferior trunk, so it does not combine with anything. On the other hand, the posterior cord is formed by the posterior divisions of all three trunks. So the superior trunk, the middle trunk, and the inferior trunk, all these trunks, 
give posterior divisions and all of these posterior divisions will combine to form the posterior cord. So one way to remember it is that posterior divisions form the posterior cord. Okay, so these are the fourth part of the brachial plexus. Now, the last part of the brachial plexus are called the branches of the plexus. Now, these uh, branches mainly supply structures of the upper limb. For example, the musculocutaneous nerve, which, which is the first branch we're going to talk about, innervates muscles of the anterior compartment of the arm. For example, biceps, coracobrachialis, and brachialis muscles. These muscles, or these three muscles, are found in the anterior compartment of the arm, and the musculocutaneous nerve innervates these uh, uh, muscles. The second branch is called the axillary artery, and the axillary artery actually uh, um, supplies uh, the muscle that forms the contour of the shoulder, which is called the deltoid muscle. Uh, and next is the median nerve. Median nerve is actually very important because it supplies most of the muscles in the anterior compartment of the forearm and it goes underneath the flexor retinaculum through the uh, uh, carpal tunnel. And uh, this nerve is actually the nerve injured in case of carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay. Next is the radial nerve. And the radial nerve actually supplies all of the posterior compartments of the upper limb. For example, posterior compartment of the arm and posterior compartment of the forearm, all of these structures found posterior in the whole upper limb are uh, uh, most commonly supplied by the radial nerve. Uh, uh, lastly is the ulnar nerve. Ulnar nerve actually supplies uh, one, uh, one and a half muscle in the anterior compartment of the forearm, which are the uh, flexor uh, digitorum, uh, flexor carpi alnaris, the whole muscle, and the medial part of the flexor digitorum profundus. Okay, all of the other muscles in the anterior compartment of the forearm are supplied by the medial nerve, as we have said. Also, the ulnar nerve will participate in uh, supplying uh, structures in the hand. So, I believe this this structure was helpful. Please do like, subscribe, and share this video with your colleagues uh, if you find it helpful. Thank you so much.